Hey everybody, Carrie here. Hope you're having an awesome day. If you don't know who I am, I am Carrie, aka American Arbitrage, and I'm a full time reseller. In this video, I'm going to show you what I buy and sell as a full time reseller. First, I'm going to go to the thrift store here, the DI, and then afterwards to Savers. They're right next to each other. I'm going to show you what I buy as a full time reseller, and then afterwards, we're going to go to my shop and I'm going to show you what I've sold since my last video yesterday. Let's go. <music> American Arbitrage. Okay, let's pick up the lucky cart and see what we find today. I love finding practical items at the thrift store. Here's a bunch of envelopes for only a dollar. I'm going to buy these and use them to ship out my sports cards. eBay standard envelope. Found a soda stream, only $4 in really good condition. I should be able to flip this for $20 to $25 plus shipping. I love finding blenders. This is an Oster one, $7. It has so many attachments still in there. It's got the pusher and all these other parts. I'm going to part it out. I love to part this kind of stuff out. And I should make between about $30 and $50 plus shipping. It doesn't have to be a DVD VCR player to sell. This is just a Sony VCR player, seven bucks. I should get 50 plus shipping. Here's an Onkyo CD changer. This one's only five bucks. I should get about 60, 65 plus shipping. Here's another Onkyo. This is a dual uh, cassette player right here. Uh, it's five dollars. I should be able to get about the same 60, 65 plus shipping. Yamaha is also a brand you should be looking out for in the electronics section. I was really looking into this one, but at $20, I decided to pass. I didn't do a lot of research, but I'm getting so many units so inexpensively, I just decided to pass. It's not just the rock band drums that sell well. These rock revolution ones also sell. This is for Xbox 360, only $5. I really can't lose at that price. The pedal's worth about 20 plus shipping, but the whole set I should be able to get 35 40 plus shipping. Just ship at UPS, and it only costs you about $20, $25 to ship. This was a pretty solid first stop overall. I should gross about 260. I spent 33. After fees and everything, I should profit about $180 from this stop. On to savers, let's see if we can find anything here. Have the same kind of luck. When you look at these Hot Wheels new in the package that aren't too old but semi-modern, remember they're only like 85, 90 cents new. Um, they wanted for three seven ninety nine. That is way too overpriced. Um, there could be treasure hunts or super treasure hunts. I didn't really look close closely, but I decided to pass on these. I really, really wanted to get this next item. It's Wagnerware Magnalite, but just look at the handle. The top is just really bad. Has a lot of wear. I could clean that off, but the top was just kind of damaged. But look for that symbol, Wagnerware Magnalite. You can usually make some good money on these pots. I thought this was good for a laugh. Check out this price, $150 for these minifigures. I love minifigures, but that's way too much. That was definitely a tale of two thrift stores. The DI was great to me today, and Savers not so much. Historically, that's kind of how it's always been. The DI has been better, but recently, since the DI is only doing appointment-only um, donations, Savers has been awesome. But today, they had some stuff, but it was just too overpriced or too damaged. Now that I'm back at the shop, let me show you what I've sold since the last video yesterday. Look for these items and make some money too. Let's start out with this Storm Lego minifigure. This is from a set. This is part of an X-Men set that came out a few years ago. I actually got it with um, parts of the set and also the Cyclops figure that came in this set. And oftentimes, you're not going to find these figures individually in the store, like in a blind bag or like you would find a G.I. Joe or a Marvel Legend figure. You're only going to find them in the set. So I think that oftentimes adds value to these figures. And this is also a couple years old, so they're not a ton of them available for sale. But I got this in a bag. The bag is already paid for. I, sold, I paid for it with just the sale of the Cyclops figure alone. So this is all profit, and I sold it for $15 plus shipping. Look out for Lego minifigure bags. Don't pay $150, but if you can find a bag, you know, at a reasonable price with that amount that we saw in that $150 bag, if that was $25.30, it would have been a buy. Obviously, it would have been a buy for even less as well. But at $150, um, you would be posting stuff, listing stuff just to make your money back if you were lucky. So it's a definite pass at that price. Next sale we got is this Halo figure. This is a larger Halo figure, and if you ever wonder if toys sell when they're incomplete or broken, yes, they do. I got this in a $4.99 savers bag down in Las Vegas. I believe I've already made my money back on that bag, but this figure sold for $10. Here's a big surprise. My next sale is a card sale, a basketball card sale. This is Jordan Poole. This is his rookie card from last year, and his cards are going up as we speak. He was just named the starter for the Golden State Warriors on their basketball team. 
They're actually playing somewhat decently. They won my Utah Jazz a couple weeks ago, so that's no good. But, um, yeah, his cards are going up a little bit. This is his Prism Rookie. This is the red, white, and blue variation. So it's a Prism. You're going to know it's a Prism because, let me see where it says it. It's on the bottom. Um, it's going to say that it's Prism. The best card you can get in the Prism set is the silver. So it's going to be just all shiny, like silver. This is the red, white, and blue. There's also green. There's red. There's all sorts of variations that are good. But this card I've had for a while. I got it in a lot. I get most of my cards in a lot. That's the best way to do it. So I have pennies into this card, less than 10 cents for sure. And I sold it for $6 plus shipping. I honestly probably should have took this card down wait and and saw how he played and then sold it later i have a bunch more of his cards no more prism stuff but some optic i'm probably going to try maybe to sell that in a lot but i want to see at least a game or two and see how he next sale we have for the day is this nintendo wii if you've been watching my videos i picked up this wii two three days ago it sold really fast i paid 24.99 so $25 for it. It has everything you need to plug it in and get it started. There's no remotes. Obviously, if you have the Wiimotes, they're going to sell for more. And if you have games, they could sell for even more. But this is just the console basically ready to plug in and play. But you're going to need to have your own controllers and your own games. So like I said, I paid $25 for this. And it's sold for $45 plus shipping. All said and done when everything's over, I'll make somewhere around $15 profit. Not a big profit, but for a quick turnaround. And also... I've been wanting to sell some video game stuff for a while. I just haven't found much of it. So since I found something at an affordable price, um, I picked it up. Yesterday I showed you that there was another one at 30. I didn't pick it up and it was already gone. So somebody did pick it up at 30. It's a good deal um, if you're buying it for yourself and that's probably what happened. Next sale that I got is this Cow Parade figurine right here. I got this for $2.99 at Savers. I've had it for about six, seven weeks, almost two months, give or take. I paid $2.99, like I said, and this sold for $10 plus shipping. Would I buy it again? Yeah, but I'd rather pay about a buck for it. At $2.99, I'd probably pass, but I wanted to check it out. I have sold these in the past, but it's been years and years, probably seven, eight years ago. So I wanted to see if they still sold. If you all made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like it so it can get pushed out in the algorithm to other people who may enjoy this. Also, if you're not subscribed, come on, please. I'd appreciate it. Please subscribe so you can see the next video, which should be tomorrow. Talk to you all later. Take care.